start recording. Okay. Okay. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Check it out. I was on my way back up here to Ohio and I ran into this cat up at uh up at uh Loves up in Tennessee, man. Now let me tell you guys about this Loves right quick. But before I do, before I do, let's 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 drop that intro right quick. Yeah, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lines. Give me. Yo, what's up, guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for today. And there's big things coming. Big things coming. Let me tell you, I'm. I'm learning a little bit more every day on this podcast thing that I'm doing. Uh, I'm 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 trying to integrate it with uh, with live. I'm trying to figure out how to bring you guys into it when I when I do a podcast. Um, I'm sure you guys probably might not know the background technicities of what's of what goes on into a, a small production like this um only a few of us out here that knows how to do it you know myself uh and other channels that knows how to do it but i knew about it back in the day but i'm just now integrating it now because of the new equipment that i got you know the the, the mic set up the recorder uh just about everything you know what i'm saying just about everything so it, it's it's a couple of more pieces to the puzzle that i'm that i'm going to get I, i'm going to stop and get that today but um until i get that piece of the puzzle you know you well i, I changed that once i get that piece of the puzzle then you guys going to see some like like bit changes you you won't see it in the front but it's definitely going on in the background. Yo, welcome, welcome. So back to the story, man. I know I stepped off a little bit, you know, with the rambling, but back to the story, man. So I stopped up at the Loves. Now, if you guys are not familiar with the Loves over there on Lamar, check out one of check out my archive video where I talked about lot lizards. Check out that video. By the way, that video is my largest uh largest views to date over 200,000 views for that video so thank you very much but in that video i was telling you guys that that pilot it's two pilots and a mike's truck stop i was at the mike's truck stop and that night i was there i mean my door was just being knocked on all night but anyway anyway check that video out all right yo I pulled up into the fuel stop and I went inside. I got something to eat, got some fuel. I came back outside to this flatbedder that's parked next to me. He was, you know, working on his, you know, working on his truck. I happened to peep over and I looked, I peeped in. I was like, dude, guys, man, check it out. I, this is what I saw. Y'all see all of that? That's what I saw. I mean, I mean, 12s, about 15, 16, 17 of them guys, man. Seven, he had like, I, I tell you, he had, it was a gang of 12s. And I mean, LL Cool J said it, booming in the truck. He had, he had the booming system in the truck. I mean, it was shaking. I wish I was there to 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 chop it up with him, but I unfortunately I was in a hurry to go because you know I was I was limited time. But let me show you the video. This video right here. I'm about to show it to you right now. This bad boy right here. Check it out. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna get a 9T770 with the 70 watt amps and Burr Brown VACs. 
It's a big stereo. Speakers so loud they blow women's clothes off. What's going on? You got <laughs> Man, look at the hair. Y'all see her hair? I mean, them bad boys almost blowing the clothes off on her. <laughs> Ooh! And that's exactly how it was yesterday. I mean, it was, I mean, it was beating the pavement. Yo, guys, go check this man's uh, YouTube page out. His YouTube page is Basin, Basin Semi. Basin Semi, man. I'm telling you, this dude, this the cat right here. This the cat. Hold on. You just got to see he's a flat better. Hey, man. Hey, did you see that? You see that crackhead run by here? <laughs> yeah, I saw him. Which way did he go? <laughs> Hell, he's standing right there. No, nah, nah, not me. I'm talking about that. Uh, man, nigga, who you calling a crackhead? Boy, you lost your damn mind. Man, check it out. I I will definitely be getting this guy on the phone very soon. So check, stay tuned for this uh, Lockout Man podcast for him, man. Definitely. But in the meantime, show this man some love by going to his uh, going to his uh, YouTube page and checking him out. Basin Semi. All right, so let's get into the topics, y'all. Let's get into the topics, yo. I'm. It's just unfortunate that. Ah, uh, it just hurts my heart that every time I come up with some news, it's always some bad news. All right. So unfortunately, this uh, truck driver, uh, no thanks. Unfortunately, a truck driver found dead at a Ohio rest station or Ohio Turnpike rest station. Uh, it is. It hurts my heart that uh that that this truck driving thing is the long to be is the loneliest job that you can ever have because you're here in the truck by yourself if you're not teaming but you're here with your thoughts and and you're just alone in here unless you have unless you have a good family support system that'll keep you grounded you know what i'm saying but it is. But we're not sure what happened to this gentleman right here. A truck driver was found dead at Ohio Turnpike Service Plaza this past Friday. Ohio State uh, Highway Patrol troopers responded to a welfare check at the Indian Meadows Service Plaza in Williams County approximately 1215 p.m. Friday afternoon. Upon arrival, troopers found a red 2011 Volvo semi-tractor trailer on the west side of the commercial parking area. Unfortunately, the driver was located in the sleeper section of the cab and he was unresponsive. The truck driver, David Daly, 63, of New Plymouth, Idaho, was pronounced dead at the scene. Rest in peace. Uh, rest in peace, driver rest in peace uh look by the looks of it they 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 still investigating it so we're not sure what actually happened you know what i'm saying if if it was foul play involved but obviously it don't look like it you know probably just natural causes you know this this uh this old schooler 63 years old put in his time and you know he's 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 up there with the other drivers driving that driving that heaven highway keep it up you know what i'm saying keep it up one love to you ah man so like i said y'all just if you guys got family if you guys got that support if you guys got that it's it's technology now technology is here that to keep you in constant contact with your people not just the telephone not 
this this ain't just a telephone no more this is a camera this is a two-way video all of it all of it and if you get the chance say what's up to your family members at least one time a day you know what i'm saying at least one time a day give it up to your family say yo i'm out here i'm at such and such truck stop or i'm in such and such city and i just want to make sure that you're doing all right and make sure that to let you know that i'm doing all right do that for me all right do that for me let let your family know that you're out here and again rest in peace to this driver right here um it's just unfortunate that uh, a lot of us out here you know we we here we we human we we're people too you know what i'm saying we go we go through struggles every day so rest in peace to this guy right here man rest in peace all right so the nets <laughs> This uh, next story that I'm about to bring up to you guys, man, it, it is so crazy that uh, I I couldn't believe it myself. <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself. But Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, uh, hold on right quick. It tells me I got to pause the site, then I got to hit that again. There we go. Yo, Wells Fargo, you guys know Wells Fargo. You know the bank. You know, Wells Fargo is 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 my bank as well. You know, I got Wells Fargo as a bank. It's not my main bank, but, you know, I, I use Wells Fargo. But Wells Fargo hired this dude, this quote unquote rapper guy. Yeah. Go figure. Rapper. A, a man, 29 years old, was hired by Wells Fargo to be in charge of his cash vault. He stole $88,000. He cooked the books to cover up the theft. And then you want to know what this fool did? You want to know what this fool did? And I'm about to, we about to go and, I'm about to go and look him up too. He went on Facebook and, and flashed the cash jewelry and dude brought a brand new Mercedes. A brand new Mercedes. Can you believe that? A brand new Mercedes, man. Look, let me tell you something. If you're going to do dirt, if you're going to do dirt, you hear what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I can't turn it off. But anyway, if you're going to do dirt, don't go on Facebook and flash. That's the problem with you guys, man. Look. That's the problem with you guys. Y'all always want to go and, and show off, man. You know what I'm saying? Old schooler, geez, we are moving silence. You know, if we do some dirt, we're not gonna we're not gonna go and show off. That's a great way of getting caught. That's exactly how he got caught. My man Orlando Hernandez indicted on 34 counts of financial institution fraud, theft, embezzlement, mis misapplication and making false injuries entries and money laundering he's an inspire he's an inspiring rapper <laughs> really bruh really, you you working for wells fargo okay in charge of their cash vault okay what they they wasn't paying you enough Nigga, we came from the church and we straight out the know you the pull out the star Picking the buck and we jigging the service the dope defend is up her It gotta be they they was not paying this brother enough So he took the time to cook the books so he can live the lavish rapper lifestyle the jewels the cars the girls You know what I'm saying all that Come on, bruh He's a rapper this dude right here Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Money, money, money. Former Wells Fargo employee Orlando Henderson, 29, has been charged with stealing $88,000 from the bank. Look at this, bro. On Instagram, flashing cash. You <laughs> Look at this dude. Just just look at this man. Just just look at that. Look at the look at the Mercedes right here, man. You don't do that. You don't do that. If you're gonna if you're gonna embezzle money, 
you will try to do it under the radar. Now, hey, let me ask you guys this question, and it's you know, and I know what y'all about to say. I know what you guys about to say, but it it has to be said, all right, because it's on a lot of people's minds. But who thought this guy was white? <laughs> I'm telling you, yo, without without seeing him, hold on, without seeing him, without seeing him, and looking at the name Orlando Hernet, Han, uh, Her, Orlando Henderson, who thought that guy was white? <laughs> I mean, this, I mean, check him out. I mean, this the black dude. Look at him. he got the jewels on the the. The the fresh felines, the, the cash, flaunting the cash, flaunting his new Mercedes Benz. They said, hold on right quick. They said that he was able to, he was able to go to the Mercedes Benz shop and, and hold on, hold on, hold on. Apparently, embodied. Uh, it says impar- apparently embodied by his impurity. Him, Henderson proceed to uh, pilfer even larger sums, cultivating into one-time theft of thirteen thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. He was able to go to the Mercedes Benz shop and drop a bag. Y'all, y'all know how. You know how my man did it. Uh, what was that movie with uh, DMX? How he just went in there and just tossed that bag. <laughs> what these people think. Oh my God. It's 300 in there. Make sure he gets the commission. He, he get. Keep the change. And just drove out. That's what he did. That's what he did. I'm telling you guys, this dude right here. This cat right here, an inspiring rapper, though. The top of my surgeon, I'm a doctor. Put the other side, we won't problem. <laughs> Come on, bruh. Come on, man. You you could have did all. You still could have did all of this. You still could have did all of this without without flaunting the cash that you stole. See, that's how you put yourself out there. And it, and that's the first thing cops going to do to you guys. You know, the first thing they're going to go to is your social media. And with all of the with all of the privacy settings and and everything, they can still get in there and see what you post. So my thing is this, y'all. If you're going to do some dirt, don't use social media. Don't. Don't use social media, okay? Meti. Don't use social media if you're doing dirt. Leave that alone. You know what I'm saying? Move in silence. You know what I'm saying? That that uh, Latanja Heist on that one movie, they would have moved in silence as if everybody haven't started flaunting the cash. Don't buy anything. Don't get anything. Nothing big. Did you hear what I said? What's the matter with you? Look at this guy. Flaunting cash, Hennessy, Mercedes, jewels. It says here, two days prior, Henderson shared a selfie of him gasping stacks of bills in one hand. And the caption reads, I make it look easy, but this shit is a process. FBI arrested Henderson in San Diego on December 4th, and he made his initial court appearance two days later. He's due back in court. Oh, he's due back in court this Wednesday. So they're going to continue the story with this, bro. They're going to make him an example. (laughs) Dude is going away for a minute. He's going away, y'all. Yo, take my advice. You want dirt? Don't use social media, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, again, like I said before, who thought this guy was white? (laughs) Who thought this guy was white, man? 
All right. So before I get up out of here, uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, definitely coming on board with me. I I want to thank you guys to um, I want to thank you guys too for subscribing to me uh, and experience this 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 new thing that I'm on right now. You know what I'm saying? I really do appreciate you guys. All right, y'all want to support the channel? You want to support me? There's ways to do it. I would appreciate it by you hitting that subscribe button um, and and liking. And all that other stuff, make sure you comment because I do read the comments. I may not get around to answering them all, but I do read them. You know what I'm saying? If you want to support the channel, you want to support me, hook me up with some coffee, man. The links is in the description below. PayPal. Uh, let me see. Coffee app. Cash app. Hook a brother up. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking all of the proceeds to make this channel better. You know what I'm saying? So thank you very much. Let's get into the last topic of the day before I get up out of here. Now, I made it home. I made it home. So I'm about to go home, wash, wash some clothes and get ready for next week. Because next week is going to be a busy week, too, before Christmas. So or this week, I'm sorry, because next week is Christmas. Can you all believe that? Next week is the end of the freaking month already. Next week and Christmas falls on the middle of the week as well as New Year's. So for you truck drivers that's that's getting paid the way we get paid, make sure you you rock out this week hard. Make sure you make sure you go get it hard because next week and, and next week and week after that, it's not going to be no miles for us. I'm telling you that right now. I'm I'm just saying it's not going to be no miles for us next week and week after next. All right. So grind now. I'm That's what I'm going to do. This dude, this truck driver, man, listen, truck driver caught with three million dollars in cash hidden in the barrel of raw meat in Cleveland County. Now, I thought this was Cleveland, Ohio, but they said it's Cleveland County, North Carolina. Check this out. Check this out. Check out this story right here. The vehicle has been pulled over on I-85 near Shelby on Saturday after filing or after failing to maintain a lane and impending the flow of traffic. Again, if you're going to do dirt, y'all, if you're going listen, if you're going to do dirt, make sure the dirt is on point. Make sure you when you drive, make sure you do your pre-trip and make sure everything's all right. Make sure your lights is on point, your car not nothing wrong with the car, nothing. And when you drive, drive like you got some sense, bruh. Now you driving, you 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 shaking the lane and all like that and you know you got over 3 million, you got over you got millions of dollars of dirty money. That might not even be yours. You probably might be moving it for somebody else. Now check it out. Once you you got pulled over, they found the money. So now the money's confiscated. Money's gone. And ain't nobody in their right mind is gonna come and claim three million dollars without some backlash. I'm gonna come. I, I, I'm the guy. I'm, hey, that's my money right there. Can I get it back? Uh. Is 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 this money uh, taxable? Have you been paying taxes on this money? Um, yeah, taxes. Hmm. Maybe I can do something about that. Nah, bro. No, no, no. But yeah, how would you able to save up this kind of money? What you do? What 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 you do to get this money? What you do? You're a truck driver, bruh. You supposed to you supposed to be the professional on these roads. Now they pulled you over. Now they got your money. That person that you that you uh cowboying for, they gonna be pissed off at you. <laughs> I, I I hope I hope you uh take a deal because if they let you go and get back out on these streets. Your butt better not go back to where you came from with the, when you pick up that money. 
A driver, a Hispanic male, has been traveling south along the roadway and was directed to move the truck to a safe location for further inspections. Upon entering the vehicle, the deputy discovered three million dollars located in several barrels containing raw pork shoulders. One million dollars. Raw meat, man. See, you 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 put it in the meat so it it disguise the sense. The sheriff. The sheriff department or the sheriff office reported that they have reason to believe that the money may have been headed to the Mexican border and has been made through illegal drug sales throughout the region. <laughs> Dude, if if they let this man go or if he's able to be let go. <laughs> He's done. You know them Mexican cartels, they don't they don't mess around, man. This is three somebody somebody down there is out of 3 million dollars. 1 million dollars. That's now belongs to the state. <laughs> man, come on. Yo, guys, if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your host, Lockout Man, and I got big things coming. You know what I'm saying? This like the this this like the uh, the YouTuber says, big things coming, big things coming. <laughs> yeah, I got big things coming. You know what I'm saying? Big things coming. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my, my big things is like more on the technical side. All right. But hey, come back, come back, come back again when I drop another video. Make sure you hit that bell for when I drop another video. And you can catch all my podcasts on anchor.f or dot fm backslash lockout men yo go over there and subscribe as well man so i appreciate you guys and until the next video yes the next video i'll come and talk to you guys later peace <laughs>